All right, welcome. Number seven, page 131. The directions are gonna ask you, determine whether each binomial is a factor of this. So they give you this binomial. What they wanna know is, is if you use long division and divide it into this, is your remainder zero? If the remainder is zero, then yes, it's a factor. All right, if it's not, then it's a no. So what do I do to get started? Just like we did last week to refresh your memory, my goal is to ask myself, what is x cubed divide, divided by x? And hopefully, you said x squared. If that's the case, then what do I do with that information? Simple. You simply write that x squared up on top. And again, I like to line my exponents up so I can see when I'm close to the end. What do I do with that x squared? I multiply it with this x plus 4. And then I'm to subtract that quantity. Remember, this is a quantity, a binomial. So the negative's got to go to both terms. And hopefully, you got negative 1x squared when you did the math. Bring down your negative 10x and repeat the process. How many times does x divide into negative 1x squared? Whether you need to write it down or not, that gives me negative x or negative 1x. So I'm just going to write negative x, and again, I'm going to do the math. Negative x times x is negative x squared. Negative x times 4 is negative 4x. And then subtract the quantities. If I do this math right, I should get negative 6x because this changes to a positive 4. This will always cancel. Bring down the negative 24 and repeat the process one more time. What is negative 6x? divided by x, and hopefully you said negative 6. Negative 6 is written up here, and I repeat that multiplication process and subtract. Now, because I subtract, that will cancel, that will cancel, and my remainder is 0. If the remainder is 0, then yes. You can say yes, x plus 4 is a factor. And Please allow me to write this out. And that, my friends, is how you do number 7 through 10.